so a couple of months ago we uh, tweeted to Indiegogo if uh, they had time for a cup of coffee and now we've been, now we've been here for the entire week doing interviews. Um, what, what did you learn? What's typical uh, about the crowd economy here in San Francisco? Um, typical, it's a, that, it, that it's a, a really a small world. Like in the Netherlands, everybody knows everybody in the sharing economy and, and collaborative economy world. It's the same over here. We had an event on Thursday and almost everybody we interviewed before Thursday, we met at the event again. So, and typical that's also there, everybody has a different angle on the collaborative economy. Some are from the financial part, some are from the social part, but they all come together and respect each other. So that was really, really good to see. Um, also, the question, is collaborative economy here to stay? Uh, there was a nice talk about Jerem, uh, with, with Jeremiah Oyang. He said, okay, Martijn, there, are, there is now invested $9 billion in the collaborative economy. And when you uh, compare it to the social media, that's only only five billion dollar investing in Facebook, Google, YouTube, everybody. Mm -hmm. So that's also yeah, that's a really nice thing that you can see. Okay, it's it's, it's here to stay. And when you look at the the people that we spoke to, being an entrepreneur in the Netherlands and being an entrepreneur over here, uh, is there a big difference between those two? Um, yes, it is. Um, uh, first thing, uh, really interesting over here, that's when you are successful, then you share your success with others. Uh, so when you get rich by uh, get, having an, an IPO, uh, then you're also supposed to help other people also to be successful. That's, mm -hmm. uh, that's a big difference. Uh, but also it's a big difference. Uh, uh, of course, in the we say, okay, it's okay to make mistakes. But when you look at m making a mistake by being an entrepreneur, so when you fail, like when you're going bankrupt, uh, then that will uh, uh, chase you for the rest of your life. So they say it's okay to make mistakes, but in the end, when you fail, the system isn't uh, prepared for people to fail. So it's also a system that is built on not trusting entrepreneurs, to, uh, doing their best, to, doing the right thing. You mean in, in Europe and in the Netherlands? Yes, and like here in, in, in San Francisco, uh, it's a completely different situation. Also, like with funding by VCs, they also say, okay, we expect that one, in te uh, one of the ten uh, 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 projects we're investing in will succeed. So there's a much bigger space of making mistakes and so that's also not strange that there is so much more innovation uh, because also when I had the interview with, the, with Alessi, the Italian design company uh, during my brand expedition a couple of years ago, they say the only way to find out where the border is is when you cross it now and then. But in the Netherlands when you cross it and you fail you have a problem. Over here it's, it's completely different. So it's, it's also considered a plus if you failed in the past? Yeah, yeah, because uh, when looking to myself, uh, the, my most valuable lessons are of the mistakes I made. Yeah. And I make lots of mistakes, so. And the type of people that we spoke to, is that different from Europe? Uh, yes, uh, like with Crowd Expedition, uh, in, in, uh, with the 10 interviews we did uh, this week, six of them were with women. In the Netherlands, with all the interviews, out of 10 interviews, maybe a half of them, so one on 20 is women. So there's a really complete difference balance in, 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 in leadership by women over here. So, and that's really give me a good feeling because I really believe that that will help also to make this collaborative economy a long term mm -hmm. a, st a, st a stable model because they have a complete different type of leadership. So I think the balance is, is much better over here than in the Netherlands. Any idea what the, the skills and the types of leadership is that they bring in? I think values and that's also uh, a really uh, good thing we saw with the organization we interviewed. They all, they all started from, from, from uh, a, a getting things done mentality, but also about uh, making a solution for a problem. Like with Zane Ringerman, the founder of co-founder of Indiegogo, her parents were entrepreneurs, and they never had, had the opportunity. To, they, they never had the opportunity to grow. Why? Because they couldn't get a loan from the bank. Mm -hmm. and, and, and with that experience she started Indiegogo. So they're all really value-based uh, value driven organizations. Yeah. Um, now the, the core question of your expedition is to learn more about the ad added value of the collaborative economy. Um, value can be measured in, in, in money, but what kinds of value did you encounter uh, during these interviews? Many, uh, many kinds of value, like with, uh, with we, uh, uh, Wikimedia Foundation, loads of people are, are working together, are collaborating, uh, they're exchanging and, and, and getting lots of value 
but they are not getting any money for it. So it's, it's really interesting about learning these lessons, why it works, and, and not really finished by making these analyzers because it's really, really complicated. But also, when you look at the value, uh, you can also talk about other values than only the existing currencies. Like with Listia we interviewed, it's a platform where you can exchange old stuff mm -hmm. uh, by, uh, and then you get Listia credits, so they get their own currency. And what I think is fascinating about that is they're really playing like a bank. Like when there's inflation, they're buying Listia credits out of the uh, uh, platform, so they really are playing like a, a small bank. And I also think also lessons for the Netherlands are, there are lots of uh, platforms like PRB, where, 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 where you can uh, rent a drill uh, from your neighbor, like Connected, where, where you can ask people to learn new skills, like playing guitar or, 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 or learn to speak Spanish. If they're going to build up a own currency system, so like you learn me to play guitar and, 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 and I will lend you my, my ladder or, 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 or my drill. And that way all these platforms, they can really collaborate uh, with each other and make another yeah, monetary system. So that's a really interesting thought. So now we've been uh, lugging around uh, 25 kilos of equipment the entire week. Uh, started the interview still with a jet lag. What is the overall experience of this week for you? It was overwhelming. It was really, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm really tired because it's so much. Uh, uh, we did 10 interviews. Uh, uh, so the preparing the interviews, doing the interviews on camera. I, I'm, I'm, I'm doing a lot of camera, but it still feels way out of my comfort zone in English uh, with, with, with really uh, high educated uh, entrepreneurs and experts, but also the production by arranging the, uh, the, the venues to film, uh, reschedule uh, appointments, but also to, to pick up chances that, 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 that will go by, like with uh, the event we uh, attended on uh, first day, the sharing event, but also yesterday, really great, at the Internet Archive. So we picked every chance we could get and there's also balance about getting the most out of it and thinking about your own health and the balance was like this but i think the next time i of course i can say next time the balance will be better but i know myself so like when a great opportunity comes by when i'm here in san francisco of course i will grab it yeah so you're going home happy satisfied but extremely tired um you too <laughs> me too what can we expect from you in the following months uh, first, uh, enjoying my family again, uh, uh, having Christmas and New Year's Eve. And then in January, I'm going to write a, a crowd expedition, a manifesto, uh, gathering all the new questions and insights of the last 10 months and the last 90 interviews I did. Uh, only thing because I'm saying, okay, I'm going to write a book about it and I'm going to make a documentary about it. But now really making structure about, okay, but what is going to be in that book and in the documentary. I'm also, go, I'm also go, uh, going to write a book together with Hans van der Loo uh, about uh, leadership in the declarative economy. Um, I am hope that lots of puzzle pieces will fall at the right place. And <coughs> when I, uh, like yesterday, I received, I received an email from LinkedIn, Martijn, congratulations, you're now two year expedition leader of crowd expedition. So I'm already two year busy in, in this declarative economy. And now, I really want to do something. So, because of course we do a lot of things, uh, crowdfunding, using all the platforms we're visiting, but I also want to build something. So I think I'm going to, to think about in the first quarter of, of next year about how we're going to do it. So I'm not going to stop a crowd position because it, it's too much fun and too much interesting and there's so many answers not being, uh, questions not being answered yet. But I also want to advise other collaborative startups, maybe from the US coming to Europe or maybe in the Netherlands uh, in a collaborative economy. And also think about my, my own role because now I'm the guy with uh, the camera making the, the videos, but I think it's also now time to take my responsibility as an expert and also sharing the knowledge and helping other people with that. Cool. It's been great to be on the road with you and I wish you all of the luck in the future. Thanks, bro.